can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Nice shot, lands downstairs. Man, back and forth we go, and early on, these guys getting after it. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Fighting behind a nice jab. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Some nice deception there as he lands the hook. Hands on the face. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Oh, nice. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> just out of range with that left hook. Oh, continues to attack the head with those elbows in the clinch. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though. Nice leg kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That was a big check. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Leads with the right hand, that'll work. Collar tie here in the clinch. Effective punch from the clinch there by Lee. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into his underhook. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, get one knee to the body. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, right into Mount. Nice positional control here. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Lee. 
beautiful transition. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Lee getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly, knee on belly. Oh. Drop it, ground it, pump. His opponent's got to move, or the fight's going to get stopped. First round winding down here. Making all these shots count. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Stop, stop, Five minutes stop. in the books. All right, sit down, buddy. Take a deep breath, bro. All right, get him some water. Drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right. Here we go. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. We'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. And he blocked the punch there. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the goal. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by Lee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Went for the inside leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Three minutes to go. Nice liver shot lands. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie reach back inside and try to find space. Doing a nice job putting it all together. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the country. Go home and admire your work. It doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Nice shots landing from the top position. Back to his feet. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big punch lands through the middle. 
Lead kick landed there by Lee. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked out of the Anderson Silva situation. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. And doing work with the jab. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, nice kick. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Just misses with the right. One minute now, says the round two clock. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That was a massive high kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. All right, that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, take a seat, brother. Take a seat. Breathe. Relax. Let's calm that mind. You got a little too much nervous energy going on out there. You need you to refocus. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, huge knee to the head. Perfectly timed and placed. Oh. Oh. Able to check that kick as well. It's okay. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Nice jab by Lee. Oh, got that head kick home. Big knee lands to the body. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Left hand there on the inside. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, and he connects there. Keep those hands up for me. Keep those hands high. 
Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue. Here's a tissue. Nice jab by Lee. Nice. Nicely done. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. That was a solid punch. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Nice punch by him there in the clinch. The book on him is that when he gets in these clinch situations, he's not looking to take a breather. He is not resting. He is going to work. The night is just beginning when he gets to the clinch. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Fighters separate from the clinch now. That high kick will get you spinning. Great land there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. I love that one. I love when a guy throws a kick with that much power. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Head kick! Oh, right hand gets up to block it. He's got to cut above the eye now. 15 seconds to go. Straight punch is true. guys have some chins on huh. them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut Nail try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, fight. but he has never good. looked this good. And good. That, is, that is partly because his opponent is not defensive. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Missed with that right hand. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Lee. Nice crack there. Good jab there by the champion. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Just missed with the left there. Strike lands cleanly there. 
Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, well timed with that tee. Just over two minutes now to go. Quick jab. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. There's the single. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Push kick there to the body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice jab by Lee. Oh, good block there. Well, the striking clinic continues and He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. Cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight. That is so competitive. That is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. 10 seconds remaining in round four. Oh. And there's the buzzer oh. indicating the end of round four. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Boy. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attacked the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Good shot, good shot. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, back and forth we go. Now lands a kick to the body. Oh, that kick to the body is there again. It's been there all night. Well, we've been talking about that jab and his perfect utilization of it all night long, and there it is again as he snaps his opponent's head back. You see the numbers bottom of your screen. It has been all about that short, crisp jab here tonight. the output for this fighter here. A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. He 
lands a solid punch there. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. And that punch, no good. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they gotta be thinking about getting involved here. Ground beef, man. <laughs> Ground beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm gonna let my fighter live and fight another day. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Blocks the shot. There's that kick. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice jab. Good punch lands. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, switch kick lands for him now. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Oh, look at that leg kick. What an absolute war it has been. Probably gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, that calf is just getting destroyed, and not sure if it's time to trot out the line, live to fight another day, but I've seen enough. It's over. It, it's over, John. I mean, I... I it, this could have been done five kicks ago. Yeah. But now he's taking more damage and unneeded. All out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, the official decision is in. It resides rounds, with the venerable we go to the Bruce judges score cards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. For the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers